Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad to have you here. If you're new, I'm Sam and welcome to Cruise Keto Vlogs. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. And uh, in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you two of my favorite snacks. Now, when I say snacks, I don't snack very often on the keto diet because when you're snacking, you really don't count into your day in those macros on um, how it can add up in your macros like your carbs, fats, and proteins. So a lot of people don't add up in, in their daily logs what they're snacking on because they think, oh, it's a snack, it's okay. Well, those snacks add up. So when I do snacks, I add them into my meals and uh, into my macros for the day so that way I can keep track of everything that I'm consuming for that day so I can either hit or um, not go over on any of my macros if that makes sense so today I'm just going to share with you two of my favorite snacks um, I usually have these when I do eat these between lunch and dinner um, they're fairly easy to make they don't require a lot of ingredients um, and they're really really delicious so let's just hop right on into the video guys and I will show you exactly what I'm making all right guys for our first snack um, I'm going to be making a pizza now this is very simple very good ingredients um, it doesn't require a lot you can add a lot if you want um, it's just up to you and what you feel like putting on there um, but I usually make a whole one and then just cut it in half and then save the other half for um, the next day or or whatever um, but you can also have this for like to break your fast with or you can have this for dinner as a family dinner it's just really up to you but what you're gonna need is some tortillas these are the La Banderita carb counter um, little shells there's only five carbs in here and uh, these are what I like to use you're also going to use some pepperoni now I do use the big slice pepperoni um, because I love pepperoni on my pizzas and uh, you can use however many you want on there there are no carbs in here and there's five grams of protein in these I just picked these up from my local Walmart the next thing you're going to want to use is cheese um, you can use any kind of cheese that you like this is just what I have on hand this is just the low mo uh, low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese from um, great value I picked this up at Walmart um, and then you're just gonna need some uh, tomato sauce or tomato paste or puree whatever sauce that you like now I like using the purees as to marinara sauces and stuff like that because there's no sugar in these um, it's just pretty much tomatoes so I love using tomato paste or purees on my pizzas and then you can just add whatever seasonings that you want now speaking of toppings um, I'm going to be using bell pepper. I'm just going to be using a little bit of this along with a little bit of tomato. Now, I love this combo on pizza, but you can use whatever you want. Um, if I had olives or anything like that, I would throw that on there as well. As for seasonings, I'm going to use parsley flakes, onion powder, and garlic. So this is what i absolutely love on my pizzas you like i said you can um mix and match however you want you can add in take out whatever you want to do it's all up to you on um your your preferences so let's make this pizza guys okay so first off what you're going to do is you're going to just get out one shell you can use two if you want today I'm going to use two because I'm going to cut this in half so I'm 
Now you're just going to spread on your tomato paste. You can use however much you like. Um, just spread it out fairly evenly. Just spread it out uh, fairly evenly. And uh, you're going to do this on both of your shells if you use two. And this will just help the, um, the toppings stay on. while you're cooking. I just use maybe maybe a tablespoon or so of a tomato paste but uh, you can add however much you like. I just tend to stick with um, just a little bit just for a little bit of flavor and to hold the pizza together. So that's what that looks like. Now we're going to move on to the stove. Now I just ha have a, um, a cast iron skillet. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to turn the heat on to medium low. And we're going to let this heat up. I'm going to add just a little bit of butter in there. This is just for flavor and some extra healthy fats. Now that the butter is all melted, you're just going to want to coat the bottom of your pan with that butter. I just use a little silicone brush just to get it well coated on the bottom. Now you're going to put your shell on the bottom of the pan and we're just going to let this cook. In the meantime, while this is cooking, now is the time to put on your toppings. We are going to add just a little bit of cheese on this side. This will melt down and it will um, help the toppings stick together. Now we're going to add in our pepperoni. Sorry guys, my battery died, so I changed that out real quick. And uh, we're just putting some pepperoni on here. Next thing you're wanting to do is add your seasoning. I like to add the seasoning in the middle of the pizza. So that way it just incorporates well with each other. And it doesn't get lost in the pizza. So you're just going to add a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, you can do this to taste and some parsley now we're just going to add just a little bit of tomato I don't like to add too much because it will make your pizza a little watery um, so I just add a little bit on here as well as some bell pepper. Now I love bell pepper on pizzas. Um, I love that crunch. But you can add as much or as little as you like. Now you're just going to add more cheese right on top of that. This is just to help the pizza stick together. Now you're going to add the top part of your pizza. Then you're just going to flip it over because by this time it should be ready to flip. just going to let that cook on that side and it will be ready to go all right guys I just moved this over to a paper towel um, now you can go ahead and cut this I just use a pizza cutter and I kind of start in the middle and just cut it in half and 
this is what it looks like guys it's really really good the cheese is really melty the inside the ingredients inside are warm and cooked through the crust is really crispy so this is one of my favorite favorite snacks or something to eat as for as dinner i think you're gonna like this one all right you guys that pizza was so good i love making that pizza for either a snack lunch or dinner you can have it for either one that you want it's up to you um i had it for lunch today but uh you can have it for whatever um, i just got the other half of the pizza in the refrigerator for my daughter it's a good meal for her to have when she gets home because um she eats so early at school she eats at 11 o'clock at school so when she gets home she's hungry so i've got that in the refrigerator for her to eat when she gets home before dinner it's just a great little snack for her to have and it's good for her and it will keep her full until dinner as for the second recipe that we've got going on today is um you can either make it a ice cream or a milkshake whichever one you prefer they're both delicious and i love both of them but uh, that's what we're going to be making for our second recipe today is um milkshake slash ice cream it just depends on how i'm feeling when i make it so let's get on into that recipe and i'll show you exactly how to make it all right guys for this recipe you're going to need some ice this is just the nutri ninja cup with some ice in it um it's about two cups of ice give or take you're also going to need some sort of chocolate milk type thing um this is just the quest protein shake in chocolate i love using this because it makes it really really chocolatey and it just hits that chocolate craving that you have plus you're going to need a packet of swiss cacao ketones by prove it this makes it super chocolatey and so sweet and delicious it's going to be so good so let's make this bad boy that's all you're going to need all right guys if you want to make this a milkshake you can fill it up to the max fill line and it will make it a really thick and delicious creamy milkshake but i want to make this an ice cream so i'm not going to fill it up quite to that mark um and then we'll go from there so you're just going to add in your chocolate milk or protein shake And then you're going to add in you can add in either a half or a full packet of this i think i'm just going to do a half a packet today because i don't want it too extremely sweet and that'll be good then you just pop your lid on and blend it up i'm going to mute this out so it doesn't get too crazy loud and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done all right guys this is the ice cream and look how creamy this is this is so good you guys if you love chocolate ice cream you are going to love this it is so good so creamy and so sweet mm. you've got to try this guys mm. all right guys i'm going to go enjoy this I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit that little red subscribe button down there below join our family i would love to have you guys join the family here at cruise keto vlogs hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos I upload new videos every week i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys